everyone heading out and ready for the 4th of July. And we're going to see some really nice conditions in northern Utah as a result. Live view from Cache Valley, gorgeous, Old Main up there in Logan, where temperatures are in the low 80s, a little breezy. And we've actually seen the winds increasing as the front tracks through. It comes from this area of low pressure, which is riding the jet stream a bit. You see that area of high pressure off the coast. We're going to keep an eye on that because it will impact us in the coming days. Dry throughout the Beehive State with that northwest flow, allowing for winds to increase increase and cooler conditions on deck for a holiday. Critical fire danger with those red flag warnings expanded throughout northern Utah into the central portion of the state and down south. Many of these will expire at 9 p.m. tonight. The swell right here that holds on with downslope winds for tomorrow, so through your holiday. Any fire star could spread easily, which means we have to be so very careful and vigilant as we're out celebrating. Live view from Iron County, 93 degrees right now in Cedar City with blue skies. Our Southern Utah University network camera shows Showing that off really pretty. We've got 80s along the Wasatch Front, 90s towards Moab and the I-15 corridor, 106 in St. George, where we're cooking, 102 in Lake Powell. Those triple digits are going to really settle in and make themselves at home in the south as we get through the next several days. Wasatch Front with clear skies, 80s turning to 70s by ABC4 News at 10. We're at 74. Several fireworks shows for tonight, including in North Salt Lake, and we've got clear conditions, which means viewing will be nice. Leave it to the professionals, right? Why not? High temperature trend shows we take a few days to get back to Africa. That makes for a beautiful holiday for the Wasatch Front. We do hit average by Saturday and climb above it Sunday. But look at the south. Very different story here. We stay well above average, which is 101 this time of year, and we go white hot, jumping above 110 as we look at the long range. Okay. Here's what's going on. You see that low, which rides the jet stream, sends the front our way. But we've got a very large area of high pressure. This ridge is going to move inland and it's gonna move into the Intermountain West. That is going to influence the Beehive State. It's got a clockwise flow. So we're going to see very hot conditions, dangerous heat building for southern Utah. And we will also see impacts in the north. You notice the positioning of that high centering up and impacting Nevada and Utah as we get through early next week. As a result, brand new heat alerts have been issued. Excessive heat warning for lower Washington County and towards Lake Powell. This is for 9 a.m. Sunday through 9 p.m. Monday. We're talking very little relief overnight. If any, you want to make sure that you're staying in the air conditioning because we are talking highs between 111 and 114 throughout lower Washington County. Now, that ridge of high pressure also acts as a storm block, which is the reason the future cast doesn't even really show any moisture. We're not going to see much in the way of cloud cover, lots of sunshine and building heat as we get through the next several days, and that includes your 4th of July. Are you going to be outside? I hope you recreate responsibly and stay safe. 80s for tomorrow. Tomorrow, beautiful conditions for Independence Day along the Wasatch Front. We'll see those 80s and 90s on the eastern side of the state. 109, though, in St. George. So climbing from the 106 we've seen today, taking a look at the next seven in the south. Now, I note the records here so you can see that we're close to challenging them. Best chances early next week as our temperatures could climb to 114 in St. George on Tuesday. That is is dangerous. All right, quick recap on Independence Day. If you're moving throughout Utah, eastern side of the state, southern Nevada, over towards Idaho, this is what to expect temperature-wise. Heat in the south, little below average in the north. We start climbing. We get to the mid-90s as we close out the extended holiday weekend. And then as we move into next week, triple digits return. We've already seen four triple digit days in Salt Lake. We could see five and six next week. Five is the average. Wow. So, okay. and we're hitting it in early July, which means it could be very hot and we could see a long streak here with a prolonged heat wave. You got to take that seriously because that heat will catch up to you very fast, especially in the south. Be careful out there.